Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. I'm here in Bitwig Studio. We're looking at Synthmaster. I'm here to show you my 16 bar note. Please enjoy it. It's in, uh, I think it's an A, isn't it? Yeah, it's an A. Yeah. And so uh, this is basically a default patch in Synthmaster. I've added some uh, some voices, some unison. I've detuned the hell out of it. I've used the new Voices tab, 2.7 update. The Voices tab here, you can further detune uh, each individual uh, sine wave. I'm using a sine wave. It's a uh, it's kind of a funny. It's a it's a scratchy sine wave. of a sine wave and like a sawtooth and a random wave. Synthmaster is an incredible beast. And this is an extremely strong sound engine. This is a sound engine that's so strong, I recommend putting your MIDI notes together and actually bouncing that into audio to save your CPU. Unless you're working with a big system, this thing is going to suck your CPU up pretty good. The sound is absolutely incredible. It has probably the strongest sound engine because of the sound engine and the complexity of what you can do. You have multiple layers. You have a global LFO, global effect. You have a browser. You have your presets tab. This is the, I just set it to default and I messed around with it for a couple minutes here. And I got a, a 16 bar note. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you now. And well, Maybe I'll play it twice. All right, enjoy. What, what this is how much how taxing this is being on your CPU is displayed right here and if this gets this DSP gets too high it'll actually start cutting out and it'll really sound rough so again we put this on best we're gonna play the one bar note again and take a look at the DSP <laughs> <laughs> oh my god somebody go get the wrecking ball okay so um let me go ahead and turn oscillator 2 off that was just that was a little too much when you when you get going with this and you start building your MIDI tracks you will notice that your CPU starts starts uh, getting pretty jammed up so here's what I would recommend with this synthesizer okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to bring this over here this is our 16 bar note I'm gonna put that there Okay, over there. What we're going to do is we're going to go bounce in place. Right click. You want to right click, say create audio track. Okay. Now you can put this onto the audio track and take this. Let's just delete it all together. It's gone now. See ya. See you later. Okay, so now what we've done, our 16 bar note is a bounce. So it's an audio file on an audio track now. So it's taking up a lot less resources and it's just uh, just as good. But now look at our DSP here. You know, it's not using up any DSP here. You know, and so it's a, it's a balance thing when you get into Synth Master. It is, that's why it's, it is extremely powerful, but it's very hard on your CPU and you'll notice yourself logging down very quickly. If you're starting to use it for multiple instruments, you'll notice yourself logging down, lagging down there pretty quickly. And so this is what I would recommend. I recommend bounce in place, but once you bounce it in place, you have to take it out of that. Uh, it, what it will do is it will create a hybrid track. 
you got to take it out of the hybrid track and put it in an audio, an exclusive audio track, okay? In order to get the uh, get it down to where it's not, uh, you know, beating up on your CPU. Now it's just an audio file. And so that's kind of what I recommend. What I usually do is build my instruments, put the MIDI together, save the MIDI out as a separate file, and then, uh, you know, bounce everything to audio files, and then I start to add my effects and do my mix and all that stuff. And that seems to work out best for me. Again, this is Chill Computer Guy. Uh, comment, subscribe. See you next week. Bye.